hello everyone and let's check out some interactive chess game from the history of chess and this was an interactive chess game from the chess history by Harry Nelson Pillsbury who was a very talented chess player unfortunately he died at a very young age so he never showed his true potential Harry Nelson Pillsbury took chess not a very young age he took chess seriously at an old age but within few years he was one of the biggest threats for the world chess championship title unfortunately his early death never made that possible but you have to know that Harry Nelson Pillsbury was a natural talent so within few years he was one of the strongest players in his era and he also won the very important very prestigious Hastings chess tournament and this is one of the chess games of Pillsbury from 1893 against Karl Wolbrod in the Boston Chess Club so let's check out how this game went on Pillsbury starts the game with playing e4 e5 knight to c3 we have knight to c6 and f4 pushing the pawn the Vienna game e takes on f4 and knight to f3 g5 the Vienna gambit h4 by Pillsbury g4 attacking the knight knight to g5 h6 attacking the knight well Pillsbury after playing knight to g5 showed his intention he was ready to sacrifice his knight so this is why in this position Pillsbury captured the pawn knight takes on f7 already looking extremely aggressive so king takes on f7 and then d4 so black lost to castling rights in this position after d4 we have d6 bishop to c4 checking the kick king to get and bishop takes on f4 Pillsbury has a very active position after sacrificing the knight but sacrificing the knight always risky after capturing the pawn with the bishop we have bishop to g7 and bishop to e3 defending the pawn knight to f6 and queen to d2 queen to e7 and Pillsbury castled from the queen side leaving the pawn but black pushed the pawn g3 well in this position capturing the pawn is dangerous for black because after capturing back queen takes on e4 and then rook from d to e1 and lining the rook with the queen and with the kick maybe discover attacking the kick with moving the bishop and that would be dangerous for black so let's take it back so in this position after castling from the queen side black played g3 pushing the pawn and rook from d to e1 by Pillsbury bishop to d7 rook from h to f1 and king to d8 black felt unsafe in this position and Pillsbury has the active position knight to d5 queen to f8 defending the queen what would you do in this position where Pillsbury is extremely aggressive in this chess game he captured the bishop with the rook rook takes on f6 what a move after bishop takes on f6 pinning the bishop how to defend there is no defense king to c8 and Pillsbury captured the bishop rook takes on f6 what a ferocious vicious attack by Pillsbury already after queen to e8 we have bishop takes on h6 grabbing the pieces and pawns one after another after sacrificing the exchange so black didn't fall behind he also captured the pawn the e pawn but bishop to g5 solidifying the position and Pillsbury as a great position after bishop to g5 we have a6 and rook to f7 queen to g6 going back well, black can never capture the rook because of checking the king with the knight so that is a discover attack to the queen with the bishop so in this position Pillsbury is perfectly fine and after queen to g6 we have queen to f4 b5 attacking the bishop again what would you do in this position can you guess the next move of Harry Nelson Pillsbury the legendary American chess master what would you do in this position guess the move of white well Harry Nelson Pillsbury is crushing through he captured the bishop rook takes on d7 what a move what an incredible attack by Pillsbury 
and we have king takes on d7, accepting the sacrifice. Black has two rooks, Fisbury has none, but he has the attack. What an incredible attack by Fisbury. Well, in this position, after rook takes on d7, if b takes on c4, then capturing the pawn with checking the kick, after moving the kick, rook takes on c6, for sacrificing the exchange. In this position, white has the knight and the bishop, plus two extra pawns. And as you can see, also the d and the c pawn is hanging. White is winning in this position. An incredible active attack. An incredible attack by Fisbury, as you can see. So in this position, Fisbury kept his eyes with the bishop, with his sharp eyes, and he captured the bishop. Rook takes on d7. King takes on d7. The sacrifice was accepted. And what is the follow-up? Well, Fisbury is checking the kick. Queen to g4. Checking the kick. There are not many alternatives for black. We have king to eight. And then knight takes on c7. This is an unstoppable attack for Fisbury. After checking the kick, we have king to f8. And then checking the kick once again. And after queen to f4, black resides. There are not many alternatives for black. Let me show you the possible continuation. If moving the kick, king to g7. Then checking the kick with the knight after king to g8. Can you see what happens then? Then of course we have knight to f8. A discover attack to the kick and also attacking the queen. And there is no defense for black. If moving the kick, then knight takes on g6. Capturing the queen. And according to the computer chess engine, black is not going to last for too long. Black is going to get checkmated. There is force checkmate in this position, and what an incredible attack by Harry Nelson Pillsbury, one of the most gifted natural talents in the history of chess, probably the most talented player in his era. After Queen to F4, Black resigned, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.